Hello. Well, let's see. I just spent five days in a row, five days, five days in a row working on a painting. And I want to take you kind of step by step of how I decided to go about this. I documented the whole thing just because it was so new for me. It's a little bigger than I'm used to working and the surface is linen, which I 
almost never use linen. Yeah, it just was such a learning experience for me. I want to share that. I want to put this painting in a show next week. So it's a little bit of a, a crunch to try and produce a painting this large in just a couple of weeks, but I usually work pretty fast. Paper, I work a lot faster, but that's just because of how the surface absorbs the paint and dries a bit quicker. Yeah, I'll show you this and I'll check back in in just a minute. Okay, but for now, let's watch some painting. Yeah, okay.
Hello. <laughs> Look at the trees behind me, aren't they beautiful? Oh, what a week. Don't mind me while I just glaze over with memory. Sounds like an album title. Doing that thing. I've been putting in a lot of hours this week to painting. More so than I ever have. I think I am usually very lax about my time painting. Yeah, I usually am way more relaxed, like, does it feel good? How does my body feel? What do I need right now? Do I need to go home and eat? This week, a lot of those questions just flew out the window. <laughs> I, you know, there was one night that I was here till after midnight, which I have never done that before. Granted, I've only had the studio for five months. But still, I hardly stay awake past midnight. So to be in the studio still working was like, whoa, what did I do? Am I okay? <laughs> like I really had to check in with my body. Oof. I got into doing some very, very tiny, tiny work. And I think that's what happened. Here's my tiny, tiny paintbrush. Isn't it the cutest? So this is what I use to do small things. Duh. <laughs> nah. I've put in five days of working on this painting in a row and I feel like that demands a break. I'm taking a break from it so that it can breathe. I can breathe. We can exist without each other for a little bit. I don't want to get burnt out and I don't want to mess it up. I feel like it's good just to like, okay, you need a rest. I need to look at it with fresh eyes again in a day and just, yeah. There's time. I have one week until the show opens. I have a stretcher for it. I will stretch it when it's done and it probably only needs maybe a day of fessing. Some like little de detailed stuff. I think that's all it needs. Yeah, I will, I will fuss. I will fuss for it one day and stretch it another day and call it good. My brain needs a rest. There are limits to the uh, amount of work that w we need to give because I, you know, I've also been applying for an op open call things and documenting some work and still fine tuning my website. The joy of obsession. <laughs> yeah, I, th I mentioned that last time about like, it's good to get obsessed with the things that you're working on, but I think there are limitations to that. Sometimes you learn them. <laughs> Sometimes you learn your own boundaries. I hope that you all are, have, have had a wonderful end of April. Anyways, we're gonna have a little to be continued on this painting, but I have a feeling you're gonna see. You're gonna see it all. And the show opens next week. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, patrons, and thank you so much, everyone, for liking these videos. And yeah, I'll be seeing you soon. Okay. Okay, bye.